Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to start this vlog off by just saying that, you know, I've been down a couple days and I just been not feeling motivated. And of course, there's some personal things going on in my life. So I just been down and I have to keep it real with y'all that I have been kind of struggling with my, I guess you could say my spirituality and what I believe in. And no matter what I listen to and what I follow, God always comes back to my heart. And it just is a sign for me that God will be here no matter what, no matter what you're going through. If you have faith and follow the word, and just show God that your heart is pure and you want to learn and you want to be closer to him, you will get through whatever you're going through, but you got to have that faith. So I just wanted to start off the vlog with that, but I just, I'm feeling called to make sure that I tell you all, anybody who's listening, as well as myself, that you just got to have a closer relationship with God. We're just living in crazy times right now. There's a lot of evil and hate in the world. And in order to get through this, you got to have that relationship with him. But I feel like you got to pray to God and he's going to get you out of whatever you're feeling. You know, you can't let no evil block you from what's yours. Remember that. But anyway, so as y'all can see, my nails look crazy. Um, I decided that I'm going to take a break from the nail shop just because... <laughs> It's a little expensive and I feel like you can get press on nails or I don't even like to say press on nails, but you can get some nice nails from like Target, Walmart, wherever, like they're making these nails look like you went to the nail salon. So really it's not even about the money, it's more of my time and me sitting in the nail salon getting these intricate designs and sitting in there for three hours, your girl can't do it no more. So... With that being said, I'm going to go to Bed Bath & Beyond today and try to find me some nice nails, pop all these suckers off, and see how that goes. I, I just want to try that and just give the nail shop a little break. I have an appointment tomorrow for my lashes, so of course, I will take y'all with me to get that done. But I just been, I'm always in my head. That's the thing, like always in my head with what I want to do, my goals. And I feel like that's the killer. Instead of being in your head thinking about, oh, well, I don't have this to do this, you know, video or whatever it may be, you just got to do it. So that's what I'm going to do because my struggle turning on this camera was, oh, well, my nails are not done. My lashes are not done. Oh, well, you know, if you guys are watching me because y'all like my nails and lashes and y'all going to cut off because of that, you shouldn't even be here anyway. So. Oh, we done made it to Bed Bath & Beyond and I gotta use the bathroom but I hate using public bathrooms so I won't be doing so today I love the cute little house shoe I'm a fanatic for them and once mine gets slightly dirty I want a new pair these are ugly <laughs> but hey house shoe is a house shoe for now and they're $15 can't beat that. A million and ten different kinds of nails. Ooh, these are real cute. These are cute little matte color. A little French right here. I might get a couple. I don't know if I want to do glitter. I just want to do something plain. The bath stuff. Y'all, I didn't know they sell this in here. This hand wash, I normally get it from Target. This is some good hand wash. And to me, it's like more high end. But it's $6 in here. I'm not sure if it's that expensive in um, Target. But this smells good. 
and it's just like I love the packaging on it. Been back home probably for a few hours, but I just want to say um, I'm just fully disgusted in how I feel right now. Like, ugh, I'm sorry, this vlog is going to be real moody, but I just feel like. I'm living two different lives. Like on one hand, I have this life that I, I'm trying to inspire, aspire to be, which is creating content, a content creator, an influencer, whatever you want to call it. And then I have this other life where I chose to live a life where I'm working a nine to five and I'm not doing what I love. I'm just... I just picked up a job that pays the bills and now I'm at this crossroad where, you know, I have a possible future. I'm not even going to say possible. I have a future ahead of me where I'm doing all these things, working, doing what I love. But in the meantime, I'm like stuck because I still got to pay the bills and I still got to work this job. And it's just like, Today, I should have been filming. I should be thinking about what I want to do for next year. And I've just been super stressed because I've been stuck on my computer working, doing crap that doesn't mean a thing to me. So if, I, if there are any young people that are watching this vlog, this video, please just really think hard about what you want to do in life. And don't feel like you have to jump into, I know we got to pay our bills and we need money in our pockets, but just start young thinking about what you love to do and how you can work towards living a life where you're doing what you love every day. Because, you know, you have someone like me who's in their thirties and to me starting late and it's like, it's, it's a struggle because I still got to get my nine to five work done, but also create content like now. It's almost seven o'clock. I got to cook dinner. I've been sitting there working on a report that's just like all over the place. I'm stressed because I got to figure it out tomorrow, which again is going to put me behind because I wanted to film tomorrow. So it's just like to avoid all of this, it just makes sense to just figure out at a young age what you want to do. And I know sometimes life doesn't allow you to do that. And we go through things, but if you can, please do it. And that's what I tell my daughter. Start young. Go to school for business. Learn while you're young. Learn from my mistakes so that you don't have to go through this because it's just a struggle. Because I want to be present and I want to be, you know, happy on camera, but I got to be real. And it's just, it's stressful because you can see the light at the end of the tunnel, but it's like, damn, when am I going to get to the end of that damn tunnel? And I just feel like I'm going through this because it's going to help somebody else. Maybe y'all are going through this or just, you know, someone who's young who has their whole future ahead of you. So, yeah, I'm not going to sit here and keep going on and on. But, yeah, I just had to close the computer because I'm like, I can't stress myself out and try to just like work on this report when I'm getting nowhere because my head is just. I'm all over the place with thoughts. So yeah, I'm going to just cook dinner. I'm going to relax. I'm going to give me a nice, long, warm, not hot, warm shower. I got a couple shows that are coming on and I'm not going to think about work because if I know one thing, work will always be there. <laughs> lotion that I showed y'all in my last video I love it this stuff goes on so smooth 
but it's thick and just luxurious. I had to take my shower before I ate. I just want to get everything out the way so that after I'm done eating and I watch a couple shows, I can go to bed because I got a long day ahead of me tomorrow. So I just wanted, wanted to get my shower out the way, wash the dishes, and that's it. That's what you want to do in life. Make your life easier, not harder. So I'm already in the kitchen cooking. Why not clean the dishes and get them out the way? There's a new show that Kevin Durant helped, um, I guess, produce. It's on Apple. It's an Apple TV um, series, but it's called Swagger. And it is actually really, really good. Me and my daughter set the whole weekend and binge the whole season. And now the season finale comes on tonight. So that's what I'm about to watch. But it's basically, to me, it's kind of similar to Kevin Durant's upbringing how he got into the NBA but it's basically um a high school a high school basketball player who's really really good and it just shows you know what he's going through and all that and trying to get into um a good college but it's a really really good show it's raining it's raining My but it's a really, really good show. So check it out. Let me know what y'all think. So I'm going to watch that. And then I'm um, Ruthless. <laughs> so um, I mentioned Ruthless before, but it's a Tyler Perry show. It's probably one of his craziest shows um, that's on TV. They don't even show it on, B -E on the regular BET network because it's real crazy. But if you have BET Plus, check it out. It's a really good show. It's about these... Um, these people who joined this cult and it's just wild so that they added another episode of that and it's really good now i think this is season two but yep so that's what i'll be doing just watching those shows and i'm then looking crazy y'all but i just wanted to come on and show y'all these raggly nails <laughs> first of all how you gonna have so i found the sizes for one hand then I get over to the next and my ring finger, well, I guess this wouldn't be my ring finger on the right. But anyway, they didn't have the same nail that's on this finger. So I had to find any little raggly nail. I guess it don't look that bad. But anyway, I put the wrong size on my pinky and I'm over here trying to peel it off. If you see, it's kind of slanted, but... This is some damn monkey glue. I can't get it off my finger, but anyway, these are the nails. This middle finger looked kind of crooked, crooked. I was doing these in the um, dark, as you can see, but yeah. I guess for me, do they look cute? Do y'all do this when y'all come from the nail shop? Be like putting your nails on your face and stuff to see if they cute? Or is that just me? <laughs> I look so tore up. But anyway, um, I, for me, I just need nails because if I want to scratch my skin or my hair, I just need some nails on my fingers. It's not even really about, like, I like designs and stuff, but it's more of that. Like, I, I'm just so used to nails that it's like, I got to have nails on all the time like I don't even think I could ever wear my real nails again in life I'm gonna be like that 90 year old woman you see that's walking around with her nails did like acrylics on but anyway y'all um so this is them I did get these little um like I showed y'all in the store these french tip ones but they're like shaped weird as hell on the bottom and they just look super fake so I think I'm going to go back to what I was doing, which was ordering my nails from Etsy because there's a lot of vendors on there that actually like use quality nails and they put designs and stuff on them. They're a little more than when you just get them out of Target and get these little raggly 
ones, but they're worth it and they probably last longer because this to me just look like some shit I probably got back in ninth grade. Like this ain't going to last long. So I'm going to go on Etsy tonight and get me some real nails. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to go to sleep in a minute. I pretty much got a long day like I keep saying. Anyway, I feel like I'm rambling. So check y'all in the morning. Good morning, y'all. Well, yeah, it's still morning. It's 11 a.m. Um, I just got back from running my little errand and I'm about to work on this report. Y'all wish me luck. But anyway, I just wanted to come on real quick to show y'all this coffee that I got from Target. And I didn't look at the price. I may have, who knows, but I noticed the price when I got home. And this is some good coffee. It was hella expensive, so I was thinking like, this better be some good coffee but if, if you're a coffee lover like I am you know I've always like I'm starting to learn more about coffee and I always thought like all coffee tastes the same uh no so um the coffee is called stump town and I got it in homestead and this one is candied and milk chocolate and it's $14.99 I believe in Target and it's the same price on Amazon but it is hella worth it and they have different kinds but this one stood out to me so if you're interested in trying a new type of flavored coffee and i wouldn't even i guess this would be flavored i guess um but this is some really good coffee but i noticed on the back it says enjoy by 12 8 and i just got this yesterday which was like the 15th so come on target but luckily it still tastes fresh from what i can tell and it's good so anyway i gotta get back to this report so i'm gonna cut off my camera but i did want to say i actually like my nails today when i was looking at them driving i'm like they're not too bad i guess but i don't really do the clear nails even when i go to um the nail salon like where you can see my natural nail underneath the nail so i won't get any more of these but i've been looking on etsy so i can get some real acrylics so i'll probably catch y'all when i go to get these lashes done so see y'all soon what's up bjd family um <laughs> it's saturday it's later in the day i have not cut on the camera because i was focused on no i quit i was focused on Naya. I was focused on doing my wash and go, which I am done. I'm just letting the curls dry and I'm just sleepy today. I don't know. I, I know why, because I've been running back and forth, taking my fiance to his appointments for his eye surgery that he had. I just been, I haven't felt like I've been able to just like take a nap, like rest. So now today is just hitting me like a ton of bricks that I just need to rest and i think i'm having coffee withdrawal because your girl loves coffee so i'm dealing with that and my daughter anaya if you guys are new and don't know her name she's bugging me to go to starbucks which i just might do because i'm dragging today but i need to let some of i need to let my hair dry up a little bit more before i leave this house because it's cold outside and i'm already sneezing so anyway, nothing much else going on. I was thinking about going to TJ Maxx today just to look at their pajamas and what, um, what you know, skincare stuff they have for my little shower routines. But I think I'm going to do that tomorrow, to be honest. Like today, it's probably just going to be more of a chill day. And comment below if you're like that. Saturdays, I like to just chill, maybe go to a nice dinner. And I like to go out and shop and do stuff like that. On Sundays, I feel like there isn't a big crowd and you could kind of just get in and get out rather than on Saturdays, everybody's out and I hate being in big crowds. So nothing much going on here. Um, Starbucks, I have a love-hate relationship with them. If you've watched my previous vlogs, I used to be a Starbucks girl. But lately, their drinks have just been disappointing. So I'll probably take y'all with me so I can give them another chance and see what, what is hitting for today. I am so 
tired. It don't make no sense. I'm just dragging today for no reason. I, like I said, I'm just going to Starbucks. Nowhere special. Um, I'll probably go out, out, like to TJ Maxx or something tomorrow, but it ain't happening today. I'm still running laundry and I'm just chilling. I've had a long week and if I have learned something in my 30s, it's don't force yourself to feel like you need to be out and about doing things. We got that new little, that little VV, I can't even say the word because YouTube be scanning for all that, but we got that new little illness going around and I'm just like, I'm chilling. I'm not trying to be around a bunch of people today for, for many reasons, so. Yep, um, I think I'm going to get the chestnut praline latte because I like that one. I've been drinking that holiday drink from Starbucks for a long time now. Um, and then recently I tried, sorry boo, I'm going mailman. Recently I tried their um, cranberry bliss bars. Those are actually really, really good. So I may get one of those. We'll see. So I ended up getting that sugar cookie latte and it better be good. I decided against the chestnut praline because that sugar cookie latte was just staring at me on the menu. So we going to see. But it they make it with almond milk i omitted the almond milk for oat milk so watch me have messed it up i'm just not a fan of almond milk to me you can like taste the almond and i just can't get with it but i'm loving my hair like i still gotta go home and stretch it out but the curl definition is popping i got a goddamn hot drink when i wanted an iced latte <laughs> This is what I mean, like if I'm not feeling going out, it's for a reason, because I get out here and act like I can't think. No, it does nothing for me. Like I said, ever since I started making my coffee at home and really like taking the time to really make it how I want it, Starbucks does not impress me. Like, I'm going to drink this drink because it was probably like five bucks. But I'm like, how I used to be drinking Starbucks every single day, that ain't me no more. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's that on that. Um, I'm about to go home, find me a documentary or something to watch. Finish laundry. I got to fold up clothes and that's it. I'm probably going to end the vlog today because, like I keep saying... I want to get this vlog up tomorrow for you guys. And I also want to say hey to my new subbies. I see you guys coming in daily. And I just want to say I appreciate all you guys subbing to my channel. You don't know how much you know that means to me. The grind that I put in to get where I'm at now is just like wow. To see the numbers adding up daily is like finally. Like, finally it's starting to happen for me. So. I just want to say I thank you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. And um, I know some of you guys may have subscribed seeing my shower routines, but I will do a vlog probably like twice a month. So it may be random or some of y'all may be like, oh, she's doing vlogs. I do vlogs just twice a month or like if I'm going on a trip or something and I would like to share that with y'all. I will film it so yeah that's why you may randomly see vlogs like this one pop up because I want you guys to get to know me and my personality besides just seeing my sit down videos and my shower routines because you know your girl's a little interesting when she want to be <laughs> so I'm back as you can see I've been messing with my hair don't mind this white stuff my hair is still drying like I mentioned but anyway I'm just trying to figure out how I want to wear my hair this time I'm probably just gonna keep it like this it looks pretty good but anyway um I came home to a package and um it's a Sephora package but it's coming in two parts so all I got today was this Olaplex number three let me tell y'all ladies even men who have a good enough amount of hair 
This Olaplex Hair Perfector, it is just top notch. It makes your hair so shiny and healthy. It's like a reconstructor. It's like this little bottle was almost 30 bucks, but it's hella worth it. So I will definitely link that below. And then um, for my order, I just got this, which I thought was gonna be way bigger, but it's this Joe Malone Body and Hand Wash. And it's in the scent English Pear and Freesia. I love how this camera just focuses. I don't have to fight with it, nothing. Um, so yeah, but the majority of the other stuff will be here, I guess, uh, Monday. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and close this vlog. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed a couple days with me ranting and all of that good jazz. Um, I wanna say again, hi to all my new subscribers. If you are new here, click the subscribe button below. I hope you guys are all doing well and please leave your comments below. Let's have a little bit of a discussion and I will check y'all in the next video. Bye.